In this video, we are going to use the Food and Agriculture Organization free soil data in a GIS software like ArcGIS in order to get the world soil data and then extract, for example, the soil data for a specific country like this one, for example. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So we are going to use the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations to get our soil data. So just just type in FAO on Google search to get this website or simply click on the link in the description below. You will get this website. Here you can get a bunch of data as a PDF, but we don't want a PDF data we are looking for. A GIS format so in order to do this click on this digital soil map of the world you'll get this window just scroll down until you find this button associated record so here as you can see we'll get the digital soil map of the world as a PDF format so we are looking for a GIS format so we are going to use this one Digital soil map of the world is reached file format. So just click on download to get this file. You can also download this file as a soil database, for example. So yeah, you have plenty of format to choose from. For our example, we are going to use the Isrish file format. After the end of the download, we are going to import our data into a GIS software. You can use either QGIS or ArcGIS. For my case, I will go ahead and use ArcGIS. After the end of the download, you will get this zip file. Right click and click on extract here to unzip it. So as you can see, we got multiple files. So we are going to use this one, SHP. Just open your GIS software. In my case, ArcGIS. I will go ahead and click on add data. And here navigate to where you saved your zip file and click on your ship file and click on add Iraq GIS is telling me that there are no special reference for my layer I will just click on ok we got the ship file of the soil data around the globe so we are going to extract the data for one country in order to work further on it so we'll go ahead and open the attribute table our data and as you can see, we have the data available by country. Just click on here. Double click on it in order to organize your data by country. Scroll down until you find your target country. We are going to select the data by country. So click on your first line. So I'm going, for example, to work on soil data of Switzerland. Just click on the first line and then hold on shift and click on the last line. And as you can see, we selected our soil data only for Switzerland. This selection is also visible on, on the map. So in order to export a new ship file containing only the soil data of Switzerland, all what you need to, to do is to go to your ship file, right click on it, go to data, and then click on export data. Now click on here to specify where you want to save your new, your new ship file. And there you can name it. After that, click on save. And then OK. So now ArcGIS has exported our soil data of Switzerland as a ship file. Now ArcGIS is asking us if, you, if we want to import the new ship file. I will click on yes. So I will uncheck the old one. And as you can see, we got our final results. Now we'll go ahead and extract the soil information contained in this ship file. So as you can see, for instance, we have only one class so we are going to divide this ship file into classes containing different soil types so let's go to your new created ship file right click on it go to properties go to symbology and then click on categories so for the value field we are going to select this dumb soil category which contains the soil types of our country then click on add all values as you can see we have the different types of soils uncheck this one click on apply 
and then okay so as you can see now we have divided our country based on the different type of soil that contains so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you got some value from it and subscribe if you want to get more of this kind of tutorials